Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. If you read the title of this video, you know that I started 2023 with emergency eye surgery, which was definitely not on my 2023 bingo card. The whole experience was pretty crazy and honestly really unexpected. So I wanted to talk about what I kind of went through, the story of what happened, the symptoms that I had that led to having a detached retina in my right eye and having to get emergency eye surgery on New Year's Day. So at this moment, I'm two weeks post-op and do Doing a lot better than I was last week. I would say the first week post-surgery was just kind of the worst, kind of dealing with the swollen redness, pain to do with having your eye literally cut open. <laughs> I filmed my whole two weeks since then, so how the healing process has kind of happened. To fix my retina detachment, I had a scleral buckle surgery. There are a couple different ways that retina detachments are fixed, but this was the operation that worked best for me. So how did I find out? How did this happen? It was very unexpected, obviously. I am 24, so I'm very young for this to kind of happen to me, but it actually seems like it is a little bit more common than I thought. I looked at a ton of Reddit threads and there definitely are quite a bit of other young people that have gone through this, but before this whole experience, I've never even heard of really a retina detachment. I feel like I've heard the, the word, but I never really like knew what that meant or how that happens, like anything like that. For context, I am nearsighted and so my prescription is minus five fairly bad <laughs> in both of my eyes the last time that i went to an optometrist was actually in may of 2021 so it was about a year and a half ago i try to go every year but i had just moved from calgary to toronto so i kind of just like put it off and didn't go to the optometrist which was a mistake <laughs> basically two days after christmas i had noticed that my vision in my right eye was really blurry and was just kind of off but i honestly attributed that to my contacts so i wear month monthly contacts and it was towards the end of the month like it was obviously christmas so i just thought that my contact was just kind of like bothering my eye as they do anyone who wears contacts like they do bother your eyes sometimes i just thought it was really bothering my right eye and like so i just took my contacts out didn't wear them for a couple days didn't really like overly think about it like obviously i couldn't see that well but i thought it would go away like i thought it was just like something that my contact did to my eye to make it kind of like wonky but that was not the case I started to kind of realize something more was probably wrong with it, but I never thought that it was that serious. I thought maybe it was an infection, I thought. But basically when I would close my left eye through my right eye, I would just see blurry images and I would see things way further away than they were. Like if I were to look at like my face on a screen or like a movie or something like that, people's facial features would be like so much smaller than like the outline. Like it was so strange. Anyways, it's the week between Christmas and New Year's. So obviously I didn't really want to kind of like go and see an optometrist right away. I kind of wanted to put it off until after New Year's. I want to say that I think that I started noticing this about two days after Christmas, so the 27th. And then the timeline of this is it's about like three days later that I'm on my flight back to Toronto that I'm kind of like, okay, this is like not probably something to do with my contacts. This is like probably something not that dramatic, but like worse than my contacts type of thing. Also feel like I maybe am not the most observant when it comes to my eyes because there are other ways you can know that you like have a possible retina detachment. Like you see black flashes of light or like floaters and stuff like that. I just don't think that I ever really like notice that. So New Year's Eve day rolls around and I'm like, okay, I need to go see an optometrist immediately. So it's 9 a.m. I call up an optometrist close to my apartment and luckily they had an appointment at noon. So I went in and they did the initial like pictures of my eye and stuff like that. And I told them over the phone that my right eye was really bothering me and I couldn't see the best out of it. So they knew that. So when I eventually got in to see the optometrist, she threw up like the letters on the screen and I closed like my left eye and I tried to read any of them with my right eye and I literally could not read like a single one. Like I'm pretty sure she put, I could see it with my left eye. She put up like a huge F on the screen and I covered my left eye and I could not see the F at all with my right eye. So 
Obviously my vision was very poor, but then she took a look at the images that they'd taken of my eye and she showed me a line kind of on my right eye. She was like, do you see like this line? I'm pretty sure this is fluid built up in your eye, blocking your vision because you have a retina detachment. And I was like, okay, cool. I have a retina detachment. Like that doesn't sound great. She was like, yeah, so you'll probably have to go in to get emergency eye surgery today. And I was like, hmm? And she was like, yep. And I was like, oh, okay, um, cool, 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 cool. It's literally New Year's Eve. <laughs> so the worst possible day for this to happen. <laughs> um, not complaining about that at all though. Cause obviously like I needed the surgery immediately to save my vision. She explained to me that she was going to try to contact a hospital and get me in and that I basically just had to wait around until one of the hospitals like faxed her back and was like, yep, they can like she can come here and like have the surgery basically today. Also, after she looked at the picture of my eye, she dilated both my eyes and explained that she needed to find like where my detachment was in my right eye. And obviously you can only do that when they're dilated. Once she did that and was trying to contact hospitals, she was able to find like where the detachment was in my eye and see it. Eventually at around like 2, 2.15, she had heard back from not the initial hospital that she said I was going to go to, but she heard back from Toronto Western, which was literally the only retinal surgeon like working in all of Toronto because it was obviously New Year's Eve and everyone was off like that week between Christmas and New Year's. So thank God they like accepted her referral. And so she basically just told me like head over there right now and like, they'll just let you know like what's going on. I was like, cool, awesome, like thank you so much. Once I got to the hospital, I actually went to kind of like an ophthalmology clinic. Like they had a fully designated area to um, ophthalmology. I got to the clinic and a resident was kind of running this clinic. So he dilated my eyes and looked at them again, let me know that I had a retinal detachment, even though I already knew that. So he was just kind of repeating like what I knew. And he just explained that I would go need to go and see the surgeon. I waited around a bit longer and eventually was able to go down a floor and see the surgeon and so this surgeon was checking out my eyes again figuring out exactly where the tear was and how big it was he also was looking at my left eye which i thought was kind of weird because i was like the detachments in my right eye like why do you need to look at my left eye it turns out he was looking at my left eye because he needed to figure out like why this happened because obviously a retina detachment just like doesn't really just like happen <laughs> and he explained to me after he looked at my left eye that he could see lattice degeneration i need to look up the actual term of it i'll put it up on the screen but basically explained that the tissue at the back of my eye is really thin and so because this tissue is really thin it's prone to tearing and once it tears it just puts a lot of pressure on my eye and that eventually leads to like a full detachment, which is what happened with my right eye. But basically that the same thing that happened to my right eye could happen to my left eye. So once they operated on my right eye, they would also laser my left eye eventually to make sure that my left eye retina doesn't detach. <laughs> so after he checked out my eye, he also explained to me that my detachment was on the bottom. I'll put up a, like an image on the screen of what he kind of drew, drew out for me on a piece of paper just so I could visualize it. But because the detachment was on the bottom, they couldn't use a gas bubble to like fix it or delay surgery so basically explained that for most cases they'll inject a gas bubble which obviously rises and therefore could not be used on the bottom of my eye but for other cases the gas bubble rises and helps push the retina back um, to help it reattach or to just delay surgery because there was a huge like long line of people basically who needed the surgery done but because that wasn't the case for me they needed to do a scleral buckle, which basically is a piece of silicone that they put around your sclera. <laughs> and they basically like stitch that into your eye to push your eye back so that your retina will reattach. But he was trying to definitely get in contact with the kind of like main surgeon. I'm pretty sure this guy that I saw is a fellow, so he wasn't like the main main surgeon, but it was already like 5 p.m. on New Year's Eve, so he was like, okay, um, I'm just gonna send you home, but literally do not do like any activities um, and sleep upright 
so that like obviously your eye doesn't get worse and he was like i'll call you but likely you'll be coming in tomorrow at like 9 a.m and don't eat anything after midnight tonight so that you can have surgery tomorrow i also want to say when i was just like sitting in the clinic and it was just me and the resident he like was just making small chat with me and he was like oh any new year's plans tonight and i was like oh well i did have new year's plans but like obviously that's not gonna happen he mentioned that like because it was just probably gonna be a laser that like a laser is easy peasy and i probably could go out for the night so it really got my hopes up but obviously like he didn't realize how bad it was and like what kind of surgery i needed so <laughs> obviously I, I did not go out for the evening so <laughs> So once we got to the hospital the next day, we checked in, the resident like looked at my eye again. There was a lot of people in the clinic actually, like that morning, there was probably 10, but people from literally all over Ontario, I think were also referred to this clinic because it was the only one open. And then I got to see the main surgeon who I hadn't met the day before. And he just explained like the scleral buckle and like the risks associated with it. And I signed a consent form. Later on when I was back in the clinic, the resident basically just let me know that it was probably gonna be late afternoon, early evening by the time I would end up having this surgery. So I was a little bit bummed at that because obviously that's like the whole day. And they were like, yeah, but stick around the hospital in case. He ended up actually taking my cell phone number and let me know that he would text me when it was like, close to the time that I would end up having surgery. And he just said like, go for a walk, keep busy basically, however we could. 3 p.m. rolls around and obviously I'm pretty hungry because I hadn't eaten anything that day. The resident texted me and said my surgery would be in about 45 minutes. He brought Matt and I to the surgical floor and then I was kind of like prepped for surgery by one of the nurses. So I had a gown on, um, they put an IV in my arm and then they also had a couple rounds of drops to put in my eye. I'm pretty sure they were like some type of freezing drop because like they just made my eye just like completely numb I left all my stuff with Matt and the surgeon came in and he had him and then two fellows and an anesthesiologist and basically he explained to me that the anesthesiologist was saying that they could either completely knock me out or I could be sedated for the surgery and he just recommended if I was a bit of an anxious person to be completely knocked out because I had to be obviously like really still during the surgery but I am not really an anxious person and I was not that stressed about the surgery and I also kind of wanted to hear what was going on just because I wanted to hear like how things were going <laughs> and I also didn't want to be completely loopy after I woke up because I wanted to like get out of the hospital so I could go and, and like have dinner um, right after the surgery. So I decided to just be kind of like sedated instead of completely knocked out. They put me in a wheelchair and took me to the operating room. And yeah, so then I hopped up on the bed. They kind of like prepared my eye. They put like a I want to say like a blanket of some kind over my left eye and then they put like a film over both of them they were like point which eye we're operating on and they put this eye because they wrote over it so they didn't operate on the wrong eye i have a funny picture of me the day after with the writing still on my eye it was kind of funny and then they put the film over anesthesiologist like injected some of the sedation through my iv they got underway with the surgery i couldn't see anything i don't know like how like if it was the freezing stuff or like what they used but i i couldn't see anything which is good i didn't want to see anything but i could definitely hear them I think I was asleep for the majority of the surgery like couldn't really remember it But I could remember more of like what they were saying towards the end and I also could kind of feel like the Tugging on my eye a bit more and like it hurt like a little bit. I spoke up actually like from beneath <laughs> from beneath the cloth. I was like, oh, I can feel a little bit of pain. So they just put more freezing into my eye. They were done and they basically were like, yep, we're done. You have to sit up and like get back into this wheelchair. And we're like, you're gonna be a little bit dizzy. But yeah, so I sat up, went back in the wheelchair. They wheeled me to the like post-op area. All I had on at this point were like my shoes. <laughs> and my um gown i obviously like needed matt to bring me my clothes and but i didn't have a phone so they were like oh we can call your boyfriend and i was like hmm yeah do not know his number whatsoever but then i was like hmm call my mom she'll have his number and then you guys can like get him to just come here it was funny in the post-op room the nurses were like so interested in my surgery they were like how did this happen to you like did you have a really bad fall which i actually got asked like at kind of every stage of like being checked out for my eye like oh did you have a really bad fall because i guess like 
if you have a really bad fall that like can cause this but i hadn't but i did tell the nurse that i had found out like literally the day before because i asked my dad that my grandpa had had a retina detachment, so it did kind of run in the family. Anyway, Matt eventually got there and I put my clothes on and I had a huge like bandage over my eye. I'll show you some pictures of that. But as I was being wheeled to surgery initially, they just let me know that I had to go in at one to get the bandage taken off and just for one like extra check of my eye to make sure I could see. That first night was actually pretty good. I was able to see like really well on my left eye. Like we watched a hockey game and we had burgers for dinner, so I literally was starving. The next day after that was just like awful. Literally, I think like the worst day of the whole thing. I woke up in the morning and I couldn't really like open my left eye without really hurting my right eye, even after I'd taken Tylenol. So I just like kept my left eye closed because it would just bother my right eye way too much. Hello, it is the next day after my surgery <laughs> doing all right my eye is leaking a little bit but we got home last night at around eight we got to the hospital at nine so we were there for about 11 hours um the surgery itself took i think an hour and a half i can't really open my left eye because then it opens my right eye and makes it hurt and then some kind of like it's kind of just gross in there and makes it leak a bit so Super fun things right now. I've just been listening to some podcasts because can't see too much. But at my appointment today, the bandage comes off and then I don't have to have another bandage. But I have to sleep with kind of an eye cap taped to my eye after this comes off, obviously to protect the eye. So I'm not scratching it or anything in my sleep. At this point, just hoping that all went well. I don't think I'll really be able to see out of this eye today at all. It's going to take, I think, a while, but I'm hoping I'll be able to open my left eye so I can see a little bit. But yeah, that's just what's going on right now. I'll keep you updated when I know more. Literally going to the hospital, I was like fully bl blind, not bl obviously blind, but um, I just like could not open my left eye. Heading to the hospital. <laughs> I put my sunglasses on, was not having a good time. Matt like fully like led me down our elevator into the car, from the car into the hospital. We met up with um, one of the surgeons and he like took the bandage off. Obviously it really hurt like, <laughs> peeling it off my face. Actually, once it was off, it was a lot better. I could like kind of open it a little bit. It was really, really swollen. He like looked at it, made sure I could actually like kind of see out of it. Obviously things were a little bit blurry, a lot blurry. <laughs> but yeah, all three surgeons that had operated on it wanted to see it because quote unquote, they said it was a big surgery. So they all wanted to have a look at like how it went. And then I got prescribed to go and get some eye drops, which were like an anti-inflammatory antibiotic. And then I just went home and rested for the rest of the day. I actually filmed clips each day to go through kind of like the healing process and how it all shook out. <laughs> but yeah, I'll get into those right now. So cue the last two weeks. This is day two. She's swollen AF. I could kind of hardly open it this morning, but now it's better. And icing it every hour and taking my drops. Should just keep getting better. It is day three, not looking too hot. I just woke up. Um, I sleep with this thing on my eye so I don't scratch it overnight. But I'm just gonna take it off and put my drops in. But yeah, just gonna see what it looks like today and I hope that it is a little bit better. All right, this is what she's looking like today. Um, obviously when I open it, it's kind of horrifying. Also really difficult in the bright light to do that. But I'll try it in here. I just put the drops in, which are anti-swelling, and then I'm gonna ice it again. But yeah, this is day three. <laughs> All right, hello, it is day four post surgery today's kind of the first day i've been able to keep my eye actually open and it doesn't hurt too bad which is good it does feel like something's on the side i'm pretty sure it's like a stitch or something 
that I can feel every time I blink. And definitely some pressure because of the belt. I can definitely feel the pressure pushing my eye backwards. But other than that, the pain hasn't been too bad. I've just been taking extra strength Tylenol, so that's been kind of keeping it at bay. But it's definitely just more uncomfortable. But yeah, swelling is way down today. It's like super red. The sight through it is, I can definitely see through it, but it's almost like there's a film over my eye and it's definitely way worse. So the doctors did say that my eyesight in this eye will be significantly worse than this one. But yeah, I actually looked up a video of how they do the surgery yesterday and I'm so glad that I didn't watch that before I had it done or else I would have been way more scared. Overall, day four, definitely feeling significantly better. I think it's just gonna keep getting better every day. Yeah, just looking forward to gaining more sight back into this eye and hopefully I won't have any lost vision or anything, but that's the update for today. <laughs> All right, this is the day five update. It's not looking the best ever, but had a shower today, <laughs> washed my hair for the first time since surgery, so that was good. Basically just had a normal shower and was just really careful not to get any water or anything in my eye. Not really too many other updates, still can't really see much out of this eye. But yeah, just hoping it keeps getting better and hopefully some of my vision will start returning soon. Hello, it is now officially day six post-surgery and the eye still continuing to look better. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it actually is a bit more yellowy today. Um, it actually feels quite good, which is uh, really nice. When I woke up this morning, it was still a little bit glued shut, but way less um, kind of liquid in there than the past couple days. We were sleeping soundly last night and the fire alarm in our building went off at like 2 a.m. So <laughs> that was a lovely, lovely Friday night surprise, but my pupil is also a lot smaller today. It was huge, kind of like first post-op. Yeah, now it's shrunk quite a bit, which is nice because it's a little bit less sensitive to bright light, so it's easier to go outside. <laughs> day seven. A whole <laughs> week post-surgery. <laughs> Matt's directing this clip. This is how the eye's looking today. Is it on there? Mm-hmm. Is it looking better? Looks all right. My eyes are really sensitive to the light right now, so I'm straight chilling. But yeah, we're gonna hopefully try to have a productive day and actually go and do things today for the first time in seven days. Woohoo. Ahoy matey. <laughs> <laughs> I just ordered this eye patch from Amazon because it helps me see better out of this eye because this eye can't really see much. But this is the day A update. It's looking a lot more white around my iris, which is good. My vision is still very, very blurry. I can't really see too much out of this eye, just like lights and shadows. But yeah, I have a follow-up in three days. Hopefully he'll let me know when my vision should um, start restoring a bit better which I hope it will. I hope it's not gonna be like this, but that's the day eight update. It is now day nine post-surgery. This is what the eyes are looking like. She's feeling pretty good. I could keep it open for most of the day yesterday without getting insanely tired. I did get tired kind of in the evening after I'd showered. I don't know why showering like just takes a lot of energy, I guess. <laughs> Feel like maybe my vision is a little bit better today, but I don't honestly know. But yeah, that's the update for today. This is the day 10 update. So my eye has been very itchy on this outside the past like one or two days, obviously because it's healing. It looks a lot better. It's still really red um, on the outside, but it's less like rumpled, if that makes sense. <laughs> yep. The Day 10 vibes, doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Hello, it is day 11 today. I completely forgot to film a clip while it was bright outside, so the lighting's not the best right now, but this is what she's looking at. I just saw the doctor today, and he basically said that it's all good, and he took a picture, and the retina is reattached. There's a little tiny bit of fluid, 
which is what I've been seeing. Like I'm still seeing things kind of further away. He said that that should go away. But yeah, basically free to go and work out and shower normally and just like being careful around my eye. But he basically said that like it's good. So that's really good news. He also mentioned that it'll probably take two to three months for my vision to kind of stabilize and that I shouldn't go get new glasses until then. But that's a bit of a bummer because now I have to kind of like live with one <laughs> shitty eye for two to three months. But at least I can kind of see, which is all good. Yeah, good news today. I just wanted to end this off with a bit of a recap of just kind of like my post-op experience and like how it all went. When I was initially like chatting with the surgeon before I'd even had surgery, he had recommended that I probably would have to take like two to four weeks off of work, depending like how the healing went. So I did end up taking two weeks off of work. It is obviously Sunday now and I'm going back to work tomorrow. Vision in my eye at this point is still like not great. And he said that I shouldn't go and get new glasses for two to three months because it will just like take a bit for my vision to kind of shake out like where it's going to be but yeah that's all like a little bit counterintuitive i kind of like joked with him before their surgery i was like oh like if you guys are going to be in there like can you correct my vision and he was like no <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I want to say that the first week post-surgery, and you've already seen this definitely in the daily clips, but the first week was definitely the worst. It was quite bad. Like my eye was painful. It was swollen. It was really hard to keep both eyes open. You actually could see like looking at my right eye that my iris was like huge for the first like week, which is why it was so sensitive to light. Like I literally spent most of the time fully laying in my bed in the dark. So yeah, that was just kind of like the first First week and it was just like so uncertain I was like okay like did this actually work like am I gonna be able to see again am I gonna be blind like in this eye for the rest of my life like I was just like stressed you know like all these kind of bad thoughts but yeah obviously it got better and it healed and there was no infection or anything but during this like first week I could kind of watch movies and read a bit like I I was allowed to like look at screens it was just really hard like it was just hard to like a look at a bright computer screen b like try to focus on reading a book with like really just like one eye and just to keep both my eyes open for like long periods of time but I also slept a lot during the first week I would go to bed at like 9 10 at night and would wake up at like 10 a.m so sleeping for 12 hours and then I would usually have at least like one to two naps during the day so obviously my body needed that because I was recovering from literally surgery so it makes sense that I needed the sleep but then after the first week or the first I want to say like 10 days it definitely was a lot better like I was able to a go outside and go for walks which still is a little bit disorientating because obviously I don't have like a great vision. I can really only see out of my left eye. I also obviously through those clips did order an eye patch, which does help when my right eye kind of gets tired or I just want to like fully have like good vision out of my left eye. But overall, I will say that um, the experience was incredibly eye-opening. Bad joke. Um, but on a serious note, I just want to thank like all of my friends and family and everyone who was really concerned about me and especially my boyfriend. I literally could not have gone through that like first week without him. Yeah, literally my savior. Through it all, there was definitely moments of uncertainty where I was worried I would never be able to see again. I actually found a lot of reassurance through reading reddit threads on people who went through similar experiences but yeah it's just really interesting reading about other people's experiences because you can understand like what could go wrong like whatever their steps there might be but again i'm only two weeks post-op so i still don't know but yeah i'm just so grateful for the doctors that operated on my eye as well and that i'll hopefully be able to see perfectly one day again and medicine is just amazing doctors rock and i will never take my sight for granted ever again thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know if there's any other questions you have kind of about this experience if you've gone through the same thing let me know yeah i'll take you guys obviously along because this is going to be a part of my life for a hot second moving forward i'm just really hoping that i'll have better vision when i go and see taylor swift at the end of march so anyways stay tuned see you guys in the next video